Hello, welcome to Dan Corey's YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about vulcanization accelerators. Vulcanization accelerators are chemical substances used to speed up and make the vulcanization process more efficient in rubber compounding. Vulcanization is a process where rubber molecules react with sulfur to form crosslinks, transforming rubber into a stronger, more elastic material with improved heat and chemical resistance. There are several types of vulcanization accelerators, each chosen based on the type of rubber, desired physical properties, and processing conditions. Here are some commonly used vulcanization accelerators. Mercaptobenzothiazole, Sulfonamides, Theorems, Dithiocarbamates, Gonadines, Zinc oxide doesn't directly act as a cross-linking agent, but it plays a role in promoting the cross-linking reaction during the vulcanization process of rubber. Cross-linking refers to the chemical bonding that interlinks polymer chains. This cross-linking process enhances the mechanical strength, elasticity, heat resistance, and other physical properties of rubber. Zinc oxide primarily functions as an activator in the sulfur vulcanization process, which can be explained simply as follows. Mercaptobenzothiazole, one of the most widely used accelerators applicable to various kinds of rubber. Sulfonamides provide slow onset and long curing times, offering excellent processing stability in rubber product manufacturing. Theorems offer fast cure rates and are sometimes used alone or in combination with other accelerators. Dithiocarbamates provide very fast acceleration and are effective for vulcanization at lower temperatures. Gonadines have lower activity but can be effective in combination with other accelerators. Vulcanization accelerators are typically used in conjunction with sulfur and often with activators like zinc oxide to increase the efficiency of the accelerator and improve the vulcanization process. These chemicals play a crucial role in controlling the speed and characteristics of vulcanization to optimize the performance of the final product. Today, we learned about vulcanization accelerators. I hope today's video is also helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. See you next time.